Hello, World Pro Ski Tour fans. Welcome to our first installment of World Pro Ski Tour Race Breaks. You can expect quick, engaging, and unique content to keep you entertained until the snow starts falling next season. Let's get to our first guest, Garrett Driller. How's it going, Garrett? It's going pretty good. Um, happy to be on here. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming in. So, Garrett, you ended your season third overall. Um, and your best result so far on the tour was first place in Beaver Creek back in 2013 or 2019. I apologize. Um, so, so far you've had a very successful career on the tour. Um, but success comes with training. And so how do you prepare for the unique starting door we use in the tour? So have you found a successful training technique to help you get the best jump out of the gate without getting jammed? Um, well, I definitely, I've definitely been watching all the other guys, and I know that I don't have the best start. Um, so I think the biggest thing I've been doing is paying attention beforehand while other people are going out of the gates, getting that cadence down, because that's the most important part. You have to time it, and if you miss your timing, you're distracted. So you just have to be on your game, paying attention to the cadence, and then use your power that you have to get out of the gate as fast as you can. Right, so, so you're... All, all I can. What, yeah, watching the other athletes and, and taking tips from them. And, and the cadence is unique for us. In, a, in addition to the starting doors is we have both beeps and lights. Um, do you follow the beeps or do you follow the lights? Um, when I'm just paying attention, like behind, not in the start gate, I definitely pay attention to the beeps only and just watch yep. their bodies yep. um, and see. I mean, Michael and those guys go up out of the gate. Um, I tend to just go straight out as fast as I can. Um, and it all depends on how you go, but you have to time – your movement with what you're trying to do. So theirs takes a little longer. They start their movement earlier and I just get in the head game and get forward as, as quickly as fast as I can. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Um, second question. So two years in a row, you ended your season in the top three overall. Like I mentioned, um, you were third overall this season and you were second overall in 2019. So how do you plan to take top honors next season? Or is there one thing specifically that you plan to change? Um, well, I think we'll do some more panel solo on Wednesdays for sure. Um, try to get out there in the gates, um, get more used to the panel solo style as much as you can. It helped a lot this year, just the training, getting comfortable in the, uh, the courses and the style of sets that the pro tour uses. Um, I think that's my, my main goal. And then, I mean, just make sure everyone else goes out a little bit harder than I do. Um, feed them some drinks at the bar or something, make sure you're <laughs> the, the most prepared in the morning, but I mean, you have to go out have some fun keep it light but right. yeah make sure you're doing a little bit better than everyone else in the morning that sounds awesome that sounds like a ticket to, to, to success for me so <laughs> um well for those of you who didn't know or didn't um take a peek at the photo we posted last weekend so this was the awesome photo of garrett and kai we posted last weekend and we actually asked you fans to pose a couple questions for Garrett, um, and actually, Garrett, go ahead and choose one of the questions that you want to ask, or that that a fan asked that you would like to answer. Yeah. So, I mean, um, there's a couple questions out there that I really liked. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Skier Beth's question, um, just because okay. it kind of clicked with me. I uh, I enjoyed it, and it was, um, what would you wish that the coaches would teach at the youngest and earliest level of ski racing? Um, I think it really clicked with me because I feel like I had a different upbringing than. The most, um, my coaches, we had a four inch rule. If it wasn't a good day of training, the most important part was to go out there, have fun, free ski, get some balance, put yourself a little risk, go off a jump. And it correlates so much better coming back to the courses. So I think that was the most important part for me growing up was having the opportunity, not being forced to train on a terrible day. It's still going to be bad the next day, but the powder day is only there for a day. You got to get out and go have some fun, come back to racing once the, uh, the snow's gone and, that helps so much keeping my balance. I'm, I'm a crazy one-legged skier sometimes, and I think it's just because I went and free skied. I mean, making sure that you always has, have fun is the most important thing, and having yeah. coaches that encourage you to have fun, uh, uh, that's awesome that it, it led you to become the skier you are today. Yeah, the only rule is make sure you have a buddy, um, at least one, if not more. That's a good rule. That's a good rule. Well, skier Beth. You can expect us to reach out to you. In the meantime, head over to worldproskitour.com forward slash shop to pick out one item that you want, and uh, it'll be in your mailbox soon. Well, that's a wrap for the first installment of World Pro Ski Tour Race Breaks. Thank you, Garrett, and uh, stay, stay tuned for our, our next installment in the coming, coming days and weeks. All right. Congrats. Stay safe out there, guys. See ya.